There's matter in these sides, these profound heaves. You must translate. Just fit me understand them. Where is your son? You stole this place on this a little while. Ah, my own lord, what have I seen tonight? What, Gertrude? How does Hamlet? Mad. As the sea and wind, when both contend which is the mightier. In his lawless fit, behind the heiress, hearing something stir, whips out his rapier, cries, A rat, a rat. And in his brainish apprehension, kills the unseen good old man. What oh, heavy deed. It happened so with us, and we've been there. His liberty has fallen to war, to you yourself, to us, to everyone. And last, shall this bloody deed be answered. It will be laid to us, whose providence should have kept short, restrained, and out of haunt this mad young man. But so much was our love, we would not understand what was most fit, but like the owner of a foul disease, to keep it from divulging, let it feed, even on the pith of life. Where is he gone? To draw apart the body he had killed, all whom his very madness, like some ore among a mineral of metal's base, shows itself pure. He weeps for what is done. Oh, Gertrude, come away. The sun no sooner shall the mountains touch, but we will ship him hence. And this vile deed, we must with all our majesty and skill both countenance and excuse. Ho, oh, Guildenstern, friends both, go join you with some further aid. Hamlet in madness at Polonius slain, and from his mother's closet if he dragged him. Go, seek him out, speak fair, and bring the body into the chapel. I pray you hasten this. Come, Gertrude. We'll call up our wisest friends and let them know both what we mean to do and what's untimely done. While slander, whose whisper of the world's diameter, as level as the cannon is as level as the cannon to his blank transports his poison shot, may miss our name and hit the woundless air. Come away. My soul is full of discord and dismay.